Hi, my name is Wiki, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom sorting directly in your design layer using compare tables in Summer 18. First, um, it's important to understand when do we actually want to use this. And the ex example I have here on the screen is I have grouped uh, by my stage, and I have my measure as sum of amount. And when you're looking at the chart, you can see that it actually starts with closed loss, then closed one, needs analysis, and then all the stages in an alphabetical order. Now for states, that doesn't really make sense. We want to start with prospecting, then qualification, and then following the wholesale cycle until we end with closed one and closed loss. Now, as I said, we can actually modify this using a compare table. So let's show how it's done, and let's go ahead and switch over to the compare table. You can see I maintain my measure and my grouping, uh, but I want to add another column so I can actually create my, my sorting. So I'm going to go ahead for my measure and create a new sum of amount. Now I'm not going to maintain sum of amount. I actually want to change this. So go ahead and edit this column. And the idea behind this new column I'm creating is whenever it has prospecting, I want to return the value 1. Whenever it's qualification, I want to return the value 2. And for this, I'm going to use a case, case statement. But first, I just want to give this uh, new column a name. So I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to call it sort. And as I said, I'm going to use a case statement here. So I'm going to put case, when, and then in single quote, I'm going to put stage name, because I know this is the API name. And then equals, and in double quote, I'm going to put uh, prospecting, then return the value 1, when, stage, name, equals, qualification, then 2, and I'm not going to go through all the single stages here, but uh, so I'm just going to put in L3, and then I'm going to end my case statement. So I'm going to hit apply now, and you can see now I have my new sorting column, and whenever it says prospecting, it returns the value 1. Whenever it's qualification, it returns the value 2, and so forth. Um, so I'm going to now close this. And what I wanted to do is then make sure that my prospecting is the very first one. So for my sorting, I'm going to change the, um, the sort to be ascending. And you can now see that prospecting qualification have moved, has been moved up because they're now value 1 and 2. The rest is still just value 3. Um, but in an ideal world, you will have uh, taken every single um, stage into consideration. Now, I don't actually need to, to have, show my sorting column, so I can go ahead and hide my sort column while I still maintain the correct sorting. And again, I don't really want to show a table. I want to have my waterfall chart. So now, when I have everything sorted the way I want it, I can switch back into my chart mode and my waterfall chart, and you can see also here I'm maintaining the sorting that I created before. So with a few simple steps, you can actually create a custom sorting using compare tables. And um, yeah, that's it.